The area in Sultanahmet Square has long been the center of the various civilizations which ruled Istanbul. During the Roman and Byzantine eras, it was used as a hippodrome, while under the Ottoman Empire, it was an equestrian square. The column of Constantine Porphyrogenitus is made of stone blocks placed on a marble base. All that's known about this Byzantine monument is that it was restored and embellished in the 10th century by Constantine Porphyrogenitus VII. In 1204, during the Fourth Crusade, the bronze relief plaques that adorned the column were ripped off and melted down for reuse. The bottom of the pit approximately indicates the original level of the Hippodrome. The Serpentine Column was originally erected in front of the Temple of Apollo in Delphi. The column, made of three entwined serpents supporting a huge golden bowl on their now missing heads, was a donation of the 33 Greek cities' federacy. The column is thought to have been brought by Constantine I in the 4th century AD. The upper jaw of one of the serpent's heads is on display at the Archaeological Museum. The obelisk was erected by the pharaoh Thutmosis III in the year 1450 BC in Egypt to commemorate his victories in Asia. It's known that a ship was built upon the commissioning of Justinianus to the Alexandrians to carry the obelisk to Istanbul. The obelisk is 20 meters long with a six meter piece missing. It rests on four bronze blocks on a six meter high marble base. The obelisk is also known as the Obelisk of Theodosius, named after the base it rests on. The reliefs on the base depict the battles of Theodosius I and his experiences in Istanbul. It's known that there was a bronze globe symbolizing the earth on top of the obelisk and that this globe fell during an earthquake in 865 AD. There are Latin and Hellenistic inscriptions on the base. <laughs>